Oh, well, let's head into the Women's Warriors bubble now in the NRLW competition. And we're joined by Ivania Polite. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me. Hey, first of all, I've got to ask you, you're obviously a, a seven superstar with Australia. What, what's it like when you compare the two feats, winning a gold medal at the 2016 Olympics to pulling on a Women's Warriors jersey in the NRLW competition? Honestly, I think pulling on the jersey for New Zealand Warriors was a lot more daunting. Um, I was having this conversation with Alia the other day before we were about to run on the field and I said, look, we had three years to prepare for this gold medal and we literally had less than two weeks to prepare for this moment. So I definitely felt pretty underdone and it was obviously the most scary, like the, honestly the scariest thing I've ever done so far. So what was it like, obviously, in sevens, you, you play multiple times throughout a, a weekend, but they're only 14 minute games. All of a sudden you're playing for 60 minutes. How were the lungs? Um, <laughs> yeah, no, my lungs are thanking me for the transition, obviously. You know, you've got a four team in at high speed, a lot of high speed running games and everything's just so up tempo in sevens. And it was good to be able to get those little moments of breathers during the 60 minutes games. So my lungs, lungs are definitely thanking me. What's it been like? Um, obviously there are so many Australian based players that are involved with the Women's Warriors this year. But I understand that uh, the, the five Kiwi girls that came over, they've really worked on New Zealand culture and almost drilling it into uh, you and your other Australian-based teammates. What's that been like throughout the, the last few weeks? It's been incredible, you know, the Fab Five girls, as we call them over here, they work so hard to include everyone and be so inclusive. And I haven't, honestly, like being part of the Women's Sevens program to coming over to the New Zealand girls camp, I haven't felt this camaraderie and this culture as much as I have at the Sevens. It's been incredible to see those girls bring their influence over and it's incredible to see the rest of the Australian contingent girls really buy into it. I think that was the most important thing was that no one came in and tried to put their own touch on it. We really let the girls and Georgia especially lead the way. After having this experience then with the Kiwi girls, is this something that you might look at driving in the Australian Seven setup? Definitely, it's something that I really wanted to do when I came over to NRLW. I've heard a lot about the culture in the NRL teams and it was something that really drove me to also want to come over is just to experience the culture in the NRLW and then hopefully be able to take some things back over sevens when I return. Uh, you haven't come over alone. You've got a sevens teammate with you. Are you guys basically like a dynamic duo? No, I absolutely love Elia. Like we've grown up through sevens and we've really learned to adapt to the game of sevens together and obviously over at seven she's a winger I'm a center and that's exactly where Brad has us playing here so for the last six or seven years we've really worked on that combination so it's great to be able to show everybody that combination on the rugby league field as well but no like we made a pact when we first decided to come over to NRLW that wherever I went she was going to go and vice versa and weren't going to leave the other one out to dry so it's been mm. great to be able to share this experience with her. Speaking of Sevens players, you've got a teammate in Charlotte Caslick. There's been a lot of noise made about her uh, inclusion in the Roosters lineup. You play her this weekend. How are you going to shut her down? Charlotte is honestly a phenomenal athlete. Like, I really, in, she inspires a lot of players and I look up to her obviously as a teammate, as an athlete. She's someone who's always driving the standards over at Sevens and she's obviously come over to NRLW and showed everyone exactly why she's one of the best Sevens players in the world. So um, lucky for us, we always play an Aon tournament every year. So we do get to play against each other. So I'm just not gonna give her that time and space that she loves and try and get up and shut her down before she can put some fancy footwork on me. Excellent, good plan. I look forward to seeing you shut her down at the weekend. Thank you so much for your time. All the very best, and uh, I hope your, your, your wonderful experience with the Women's Warriors continues throughout the season. Awesome, thank you so much.